What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant and you're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I give my nerd reviews on today's nerd news. Also give reviews on TV shows and you guys know what this TV show I'm reviewing is. It is a gifted season 2 episode 15 titled Monsters. This, mind you, this is the second to the feet season, second to the last, or the second to the last episode of, you know, the season finale of The Gifted and, you know, can't wait for it. It's, it's just crazy. And if you guys don't remember what happened last one, last time, you can check my, you know, my review from the last uh, review. But also, what happened was, you know, uh, what was it? Reva. You find out the history of Reva and uh, Ryan. And, you know, how they kind of came together as far as, like, their business, you know, uh, connections. And, yeah, she pretty much tells him that she has to do a little thing, a little uh, little favor, and he's like, yo, this is like crazy. This is like almost suicide. So we're like, yo, just get it done. So he gets Jace, and he gets Jace, and the PR fires to straight up pull a Tom Clancy on the Morlocks. Roll up in there with guns and try and take the whole place out. You know, they try and do that. You got Blink goes to ask the underground for help, which really not the underground, but you know, uh, Marcos and her ex, you know, uh, Proud Star, sort of ex. So still got a little thing together, but they go come to the rescue. They also tell the, the Von Struckers, minus one Von Strucker, Andy, and they all show up to help the evacuation in case anything goes wrong. But it does because at first the warlocks are you know doing a good job. It's straight up like a horror flick. You got Sand pulling the uh, pulling the you know the the purifiers, taking them out, take two out. Kill, but and then they start getting cocky, start trying to go down, get caught in a trip with the, um, the dead bodies, had like a little gas mask, they get taken out, everybody, they're like, I, they, they were just doing stupid things. So anyways, jump to the end, uh, it comes down to a shootout between the um, purifiers and the, the, the Morlocks, and they're getting their ass handed to it, you know, uh, Erg jumps in front, starts taking the shots, he shoots, takes out one of the guys, then they were like, they're like, don't shoot at him, shoot everybody, and they start shooting around him, and he's screaming, yo, why, why don't you shoot at me, cowards? And I'm in my head, like I said, people, if you've seen it, why didn't he just run up on them with a gun and shoot them point blank? Because they can't hurt him, right? So anyways, they have to evacuate. Uh, everybody gets out. Or gets a little kid, the last minute, bam. Blink a shot right in front of Proud Star. They die. You've got um, the Von Struckers, the, uh, the, the Kate. She's straight up pulling a Fast and Furious and shoot to the police, bust right through them, and that's pretty much how the episode ended. Jumping into this episode, you see uh, that they're, did that, uh, what's it called? It's like two months ago, or yeah, where, you know, Blink is in bed with Proud Star, and they're, you know, having a, having a nice moment. Talking about like how she didn't realize she was gonna be part of family, like usually she runs, she isn't down for this thing, but you know, she, she's being there for them, and he's like, it, it, it's a good place for to stay. They jump to the present time. You got the, <laughs> you've got Kate driving through, and then they pull into a parking lot. Why? Because the the, the police has shot up, a, shot up the truck. They told, uh, she tells them like we got to split up. And Lord, L Lauren is like, yo, are you serious? She was like, yeah, they, like we need to split up, or else they're gonna catch us all at once. So we need to just split up and have a harder time for them to get us. Then you've got uh, Jace who's dealing with issues because after he shot up the place, he sees those little dolls or this little teddy bear or something like that. And he realizes this wasn't a, this wasn't a terrorist place that he was shooting up. This was like a village, a town. They, he went in there strictly like it was going to be all adults, all like a terrorist group, when it was actually like a, like a sanctuary. And he wasn't down for that. You know, Ted is like, yo, just calm down. We, you know, like, it's, it's, a lot just happened. Take a, take a 15 to go... We, uh, we'll, we'll handle up the scragglers and we take care of this. So he goes off. Um, uh, what's it called? Proud Star is still just shocked at what happened. He's just chilling in the, in, in the alley and he's punching the wall when uh, Pro, um, Captain Lightbright, you know, Marcos rolls up and he's just punching the wall. And like, I'm, I'm in my head, I'm like, shouldn't people in a house or in a building have felt that? Like, I would have been calling the police. Like, yo, there's a, there's a thumping in the side of my goddamn building. I don't know what it is, and it's it sounds like something's dangerous going down. You know, especially if you look outside and there's some police out on the street or something like that. You know what? Like, I would be calling to figure out what's going on. Anyways, uh, Reed goes to check off and see if there's anything while you know Marcos talks down Proud Star, and that's when he got caught by Ted. Ted's like, yo, what are you doing? He was like, yo, um, I I live here. I, 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 you know, like, I don't know what's going on. Please, I'm kind of scared. And then he's like, okay, he puts down his gun. That's when Reed's power started acting up. 
uh, once again, it's like on cue. Whenever it's the worst possible time, Reed's powers just activate. And mind you, I'm sorry, just gonna let you guys know, I don't have as many clips as I normally do. Why? Because uh, like the app that was working that I normally do to do the screenshots for what I'm talking about wasn't so. I tried to just grab as many images that I could get off a line to you know showcase what I'm talking about. So, anyways, his powers activate and. He grabs a gun when Ted tries to pull it up and basically makes a gun dis uh, disintegrate. And he tells Ted to stay right there, don't do nothing. And Ted had to open his mouth like, yo, we're going to take out all you mutants. Mutants are nothing but a piece of... And he straight up just tells him, like, we're going to take, we're gonna take, uh, get you and your whole family. And that's when Reed just straight up pulls like a scorpion and like basically burns him alive or something, whatever his power is. All I know is it was like, doom, 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 finish him. I just like it, it was like something out of Mortal Kombat the way he died like I swear it's probably it looks like a fatality it's in a new Mortal Kombat 11 that's coming out so anyways he goes after killing the person not even realize what happened he goes over goes to Marcos Marcos and uh, Proud, talks to Proudstar you get in a truck you hop out you jump back to uh, you jump back to uh, what's it called Lauren and Kate and they're on the run they go they find this warehouse broke down they break open a window they go in there they hide and then Lauren's asking like yo did you know he was like what do you mean did you know that you know they, they'll probably catch them and like us get away like did you do this just so we could get away and she's like you ain't got no powers girl we gotta look out for ourselves if we stayed together they would have caught us splitting up was the best option don't look at me like that you know, and it's true. If like if she if they stuck together, they probably would have been caught. Like you guys gotta split up. That's that's how. The only time you don't split up is in a scary movie and Scooby Doo or anything a horror flick. You guys stick together in those. But in these situations, split up. That's your best bet. So anyways, jumping back over to uh, Reed and them, um, uh, they they get back to the warehouse, right? Like the the people get uh, got away, and that's when the. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Lorna gives him a call because finally, because you know, after the whole thing goes down where Sage gets killed because of Lorna, uh, she they put down all the security and she's able to use her phone again. So she calls him, tells him like, "Yo, this happened," and he was worried about her. She was like, "Yeah, I know. I didn't know what was going on. All I know was let's uh, she, he died or whatever." And like Riva's planning something huge. Riva's planning something huge. I don't know what it is. All I know is it's about to start. And he was like, "Yo, get out!" And she was like, "Yo, once I find a little, find out a little bit more, I'm gonna get out of there." And then they were like, "Yo, what about Andy?" She was like, I "I'll try, you know, because Andy's really about, he's about that inner circle of life, yo. He, that's what he is. He's about that life, and he seems like he can't be changed." So she says she's gonna give it her best try. And I'll tell you right now, Reva in this episode, god damn, she was looking nice. I, I, I know she looked nice before, but damn. Have you seen this? Like, she just looked, uh, uh. And it's like, she's a beautiful girl. But, like, these suits she'd be wearing. My jam. Like, anyways, I'm going off track. And <laughs> they, they, they talk. And, um, they, they go. And Lorna does try and find out some more. They go and they go down to, what is it? Um, they, they talks about, like, there's this big plan. So they take them to the underground, or not underground, but to where the tunnels, where the Morlocks used to be. And then that's when it's like, okay, that's why she got the purifiers to go after the Morlocks so that they can get the area cleared out because there's a wall that's up against um, uh, the, 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 regency, the Regency, whatever, like the, the play people that do the, um, the collars or whatever against mutants. Uh, so that they're gonna bust down a wall and go and take out the whole building. So that's the plan. We will find out the plan. You go back to the um the inner circle headquarters, and that's when you know she tries to talk to um I forget what her name is or top of her head right here right now. But Lorna talks to the uh the, the good Frost sister, and she's like, "Yo, um, what are you doing?" She was like, "What do you mean?" We we're like, "Yo, Andy's taking out the building. Me, I'm using my powers. What are you guys doing?" She was like, "Well, when um when you know the thing goes finally goes down, when everything's it is worse." We're gonna step in, you know, to calm people down, use their minds, you know, to piss, to get people to join this inner circle. And she's like, "Yo, wait! I thought you guys wouldn't it be better if you got pe if people wanted to join of your own will?" And she's like, "Well, sometimes they don't. They're not always 
not at first, but you know, hopefully people will be as willing as you were to join us. And she's like, I don't know, but she, she's like, you joined us, didn't you? He's like, okay. But the thing is, when Reva was talking about the plan and saying like the, 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 blowing up the building, Andy wasn't seeming so sure. He's like, oh, so we're gonna be killing people? He's like, yeah. She was like, you got an issue? You got a problem with that? He's like, no, um, no, I don't have no problem with it. So I think Luna could see that he sort of had this. So she goes over to try and talk to Andy. So going back over to the the Reed, Reed and Marcos is back at their place with uh with uh, Proudstar, and he's like, yo, can you can you try and find it? Can you track them? He's like, no. I can't find nothing. Um, I haven't been able to since, since you know what I saw with uh, Blink getting shot. So since she, he's like in shock, so his senses of tracking you're not working right. So they're like, okay, we're gonna be on our own. The luckily, uh, the the police start showing up where well, not luckily, but the police start showing up where Lauren and uh, Kate is and. They, they're surrounding the building. They got dogs, everything. The mom takes out the gun, starts shooting, bam, 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 to keep them away. And then they they, they they start shooting at the glass, and she was like, that bought us some time. And so I'm like, yo, this the mom is about it, yo. And yo, how much bullets did she get for this gun? Because she's been shooting for, like, days now. Like, did she grab a... I only saw her grab the gun, but maybe she has, like, a cartridge or package of all these bullets because she, in like the last couple episodes she's been emptying clips like remember when they went to go get the brother to go help them she was using bullets on that one too so how many bullets does this girl got or this lady got you know i don't know anyways because of the police showing up and with the shooting the two suspects uh reed and proudstar hear it over at intercom and that's when uh she, they they know they have to be them so Proud star, no, so Proud star stays there because he wants to help, but the, uh, you know, Marco's like, yo, just say you're not at full power, you just you get yourself okay. Me and Reed's gonna go and check this out. So they go, they go to the place, and that's when they see that the police are held up, and that's when, uh, that's when, uh, he, Reed has an idea, like, yo, remember that thing where you could turn off the power and drain out the, you know, drain, drain the life, or, or drain the things like, uh, just get things dark like that, or, um, where you take out the light? He was like, do that. I'm gonna take the wall. He was like, you sure? You ain't got control, control of your powers. He was like, yeah, I could do this. So he goes, and then meanwhile, you've got Lorna trying to talk to Andy, and she explains everything. She tells how Reva's working with uh, Ryan and uh, this whole thing, and she's orchestrating everything. He was like, why would she do that? Well, she was like, hey, she's using the purifiers to take out a competition. So anybody that's against an inner circle, they're using the purifiers to take it out. Meanwhile, they're doing their own thing so they're working together because why she doesn't want mutants living with humans and she's like i can't believe it and she's trying to talk him out meanwhile you got reed going uh to the wall and using his powers and then uh he can't you know he's coming up so he ain't it ain't working until what's the name starts like oh like that's it he was like yo i i can't he was like, well you, well, you can't help your family. You're being you're worthless. He basically started down talking to this dude. He was like, I, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me angry, but it's not working. And then his hand starts glowing. So I guess it is working. So he goes and talks and puts his hand on the thing. Meanwhile, they shoot like a, a, like a tear gas at, over at the building. Uh, luckily, La, Lauren's powers start working. So she pops it and knocks it, uh, you know, forceful, knocks it back. And... Uh, they, they, you know, just held back a little bit longer. They hear this noise and they go looking around like they think uh, someone's about to break in. So the mom's got the guns of endless bullets aimed at the wall. <laughs> Lauren has got her, uh, Lauren's got her blades ready, like, you know, the air, whatever she's gonna do. And that's when the father comes. He's so happy, he grabs them. They go run out, they get away. And then that's when they're in the car. Lauren is actually, it's working. She's telling him, Andy's feeling like, how can I go back? So she goes, and calls Reed. Reed picks up the phone. She's she's like, yo, we're we're ready to go, but you, you want to talk to your son? He was like, yeah, sure. So then she puts Andy on. Andy's like, yo, I, I I don't know. Like after I saw the way you looked at me after I hurt or hurt or killed that guy, or what I did to that guy, and I don't think I can go. And then that's when he comes clean. Reed comes clean about the powers, about what he did, about how he finished him and did the fine fatality on uh, the guy Ted, and brings him back and tells him like, yo. I understand, like, you, what you do. Why? Because today I killed a man. And I I could have let him go, but I did it. Why? Because I wanted to. And, like, and if you're a monster, I'm a monster. And then he's like, I, I gotta go. And he hangs up the phone. 
And then they're like, yo, is he coming? They're like, I don't know. So and then you've got them going back home. You got that music star playing that they do at the end of Inner Circle. And, you know, uh, that's when the, the door opens and it's Andy. And the parents are looking. Everyone's happy. Lauren, Lauren, happy to see her brother again. She goes and hugs him. They have this wonderful moment. And then you've got the lock unlocks over at Marcos' house. And then that's when, you know, like, Lorna, she rolls up in, hugs him. That's when that Aurora Borealis shit starts happening again with the lights. Because that's their thing. And um, Proudstar, he's outside sharpening his knife. And he hears Blink. So it's like, yo, is Blink alive? Because you know how it is in comic books? Unless you see them officially die, they're not dead. Even though she did kind of close her eyes and she was in a hole, but she got shot like three times. But hey, who knows? Maybe she's alive. I don't know, but hopefully she is because I did like her, uh, Clarice. I did like her. Hopefully she's not. And she's really howdy too. She's been in a bunch of things. The worst thing she's been in, some might say um, Sucker Punch, but I'd say Dragon Ball Evolution. Remember that. Anyways. Uh, this kind of ends on a good note, but they, 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 um, Reva finds out that, oh, they left. And she was like, how did I have these psychics and not know that they're leaving? And she was like, well, well, well Andy, until today, he was all down for it. And Lorna, uh, um, um, she's always been iffy, but she's never left. So I don't know. Well, they're like, okay, anyways, they were just a face. Like they were supposed to bring in people that believes in, uh, they were the, you know, famous mutant family. So that's the only reason why they were really there. Not for the parents, but for their, you know, their cloud or whatever. And so it was like, they were like, we'll just go forward with the plan. So now you've got the Vunstruckers, you've got the, the whole Vunstrucker family together. You got the underground, which isn't a lot of people because it's pretty much just Proud Star and uh, Marcos at this point, you know, and uh, Lauren, uh, Lorna. Uh, so, but hey, everybody's together again. Now they've got to take on the inner circle, and now there seems like there's actually a chance because the the trio with the Max gone, it ain't what it used to be. And then, I mean, but Riva's that one hit quitter. Like if she gets you guys in sights, like your powers don't work against her for some reason. I don't know. I think Lauren could actually, from a distance, just slice her the f up. So I don't know about that. Like with Lauren, I think it's pretty much zone. Andy, I don't know if if he's able to go at a certain distance, it might work. But Lauren. Once she throws those blades, those blades are going. So I think Lauren alone could take out Reva. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Looks like it's going to be crazy action. You've got uh, Proudstar doing Wolverine dives to people. <laughs> looking like he's like Wolverine or something. But I don't know. I'm looking forward to the season finale. It's going to be crazy. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you guys like this review. Uh, even though I didn't have as many images as I normally do. But that's what it is. And hopefully you guys will... Put on those notifications, like this video, subscribe, check out my last review, check out my playlist of uh, reviews of the shows, and remember, I'm Wes Grant, you boy, I think sub, urban nerd, and you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the season finale.